Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Majora's Mask Randomizer. Last time, we found one of the last big items that we needed, the fire arrows. And we also got Oath to Order, so we're all set at this point to beat a majority of the game. Not all of it, because we're missing New Way Bossa Nova, and we need to find that song stat. So, we're gonna be doing that, and to do it, we need to go over into Pinnacle Rock and grab the other said eggs that we need, and also go back to Pirate's Fortress and do the same thing there, so... We got a lot of work cut out for us, but the only problem is we have, uh, two bottles. One of them has Chateau Mani in it, something I just bought in the last episode, so, uh, drink up! Ah, a sweet release. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go back and forth in the areas a couple different times. I can't actually dupe over my bottles at this point. Like, dupe over one of the other items and get a bottle out of it. But I think just for the sake of this, I'm not going to do that. Just because I feel like that might be a little too busted. So, let's let's not. Let's opt not to do that. <laughs> be a little too much. D nice. Alright, we're doing this the old-fashioned way, I see. Now, we're still on the hunt for some things, because we might need to get Lens of Truth if we need to check something from Darmani, because we still have the Gora Mask check there, but I don't think we're going to need it. I think this is going to be a Lendless playthrough, because based on what I have left to do, I really just need to check song locations at this point, because that's really what's going to hold us back. Everything else, I can probably opt to skip, because at this point... It's really just gonna be New Way Bossa Nova. If we get Song and Healing, that's just gonna lead to item checks at this stage. And we don't also need Song of Storms at this rate either, because the only thing we would use for Song of Storms, once again, is gonna lead us into a situation where we would check the, uh, the item at that point in Ikana. Now, do I have a Magic Bean? Yes, I do. Perfect. But I don't... <laughs> I don't have any way to use the magic bean yet. I have to immediately make a pit stop for water, which is conveniently right here. It's all around me. I could use water here. It's kind of a nuisance I'd have to immediately fall off just to fill my bottle. So one thing here is, oh, that's right. It's not, it's not spring water. And that's what the game looks for, which is really stupid. And with Song of Storms, I can bypass this whole thing. You know what? I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to... Just to save us time, I'm just not going to bother. I'm going to bomb hover because really, at this point, do we care? We're just checking a single item that's probably not even going to be useful. Do we actually care? I personally don't. I'm just going to move on. And we also need Scarecrow Song, another thing I just don't have right now, but it does not matter. So I'm just going to opt to say no to all of this. Just for the sake of us getting a move on. It would help if I don't get hit, though. Thank you. Plus, how many times do you get to use the Blast Mask with infinite hovers? I mean, come on. This is cool. You gotta admit, this is cool. Until he does stuff like that. Then it's not as cool. He keeps on flubbing it up. It's not cool at all. It's really stupid. He should probably stop. <laughs> what does he have to prove? This man has nothing to prove. Alright, let's try it one more time. And then we'll just kind of get a move on at this point. Because again, I don't think we need anything here. I'm just checking because we're here. At this point, that's literally what I'm doing. <laughs> Local idiot forgets he has Blast Max on. Explodes himself three times. More than 11. One eternity later. All that for 50 bucks. <laughs> I earned this $50, man. I worked hard for it. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and don't skip the ads. I earned that 50 rupees. You can't use that block to skip my 50 rupee payment. Please don't. I kind of need to pay rent. How else do I pay rent? Be careful. Yeah, I don't want to immediately get caught. Are you sure about that? 
Why do I speak? <laughs> Why do I speak? I should have went around the other direction. Because the range is kind of stupid. Like at night, they don't see as well, which is why I'm here at night. And even then, it didn't matter. Although, I think that's more of a thing in the Japanese version, because it was kind of bugged. Well, no, it wasn't bugged. I remember the real reason. In my actual Let's Play Majora's Mask that I did back in uh, 2021, I talked about one of the guard vision issues, because in the Japanese version, if you're at night, the guards do have weaker vision. This is true. But at nighttime specifically, you were able to kind of like skip out on needing to actually... Oh, come on. I got to bounce up. That's so stupid. Sometimes that just happens on that ledge. The guard that's in the room on the way into where Hookshot is located, that guard is moved ever so slightly in the Japanese version. We always thought it was a vision issue, but kind of is just for a different reason. It's not because the vision's worse at night. No, it's because the guards, for whatever reason, in between the Japanese version and then the international release, they just kind of moved her a little bit backwards. So in the initial release, she was like a pixel backwards at night. I don't even know what you just saw there. Come on. You keep your eyes closed. At nighttime in the Japanese version, she's moved back ever so slightly. And that one pixel difference makes a world of a difference because then you can just jump around her. And uh, yeah, that's a, a free hookshot room at that point because then you can just skip around that room with glitches. So big oops. They had to move the guard in later releases due to that issue. It was uh, a little stupid. And they, thankfully for their sake, they corrected that mistake later on. But, yeah, at this point, now we gotta get these eggs that are here. Unfortunately, I have to come back a couple times because I only have two bottles, so... I'm gonna have to do things pretty slow, unfortunately. I gotta make two trips for both this area and then Pinnacle Rock. That's the bigger issue, Pinnacle Rock. Because Pinnacle takes so long to go back, and that's why I really didn't want to have to go back to that said area a second time. But unfortunately, I don't have another bottle. I don't know where else to look for a bottle. Now, I could do the whole uh, Swamp Spider House, not Swamp, uh, Ocean Spider House here, excuse me. But the problem with doing that Spider House right now is I don't know if it's really worth it because unless it is a bottle, I don't think I really want to do it for any other reason because it's probably just going to be a junk item at this point. We have everything else we need to beat the game. If anything else, I'm looking for Fierce Deity Mask. That is in the randomized pool of items, and if I can get it, that can help. It's just, I don't know where it is. So, we don't know if we're ever going to even find that in this seed. We'll see. Alright, let me do a setup here so I can actually, you know, get this egg. Okay. I'm trying to do it without the Gilded Sword, because the setup's a little bit different between Gilded and Non-Gilded. So I'm just going to do the back hop method. Okay, really? <laughs> he puts away the... Shot. Like, I'm not gonna use it again. I don't want to fight this pirate. I have to fight one other pirate right now, and I don't want the two fights because I'm coming back here twice. Also, I do have to use the seahorse, so I should probably do that soon enough. So, there you go. That setup for this is a full back hop and then a short one. So, we're gonna grab this and immediately just leave because this is really all we can do here right now. And I guess we're going to Pinnacle Rock, because what else are we going to do? We also need to get rid of this Moon's Tear, too, I just realized. Might as well just make a pit stop for that, just because what else am I going to do? <laughs> I kind of need to get rid of this item. It's just wasting a space at this point in my inventory. Also, as you can see, I played my Ocarina underwater. It's something you can't do normally in the base game. Don't understand why you can't. In 3DS, they actually made that so you can use the ocarina underwater because it was a kind of dumb decision not to let you do that. It just there's no reason not to. There was even a glitch that you can do. That's that's an egg. <laughs> it's like, you want this egg? I guess the dog didn't want the egg either. There, yeah, there was no reason though to not use your ocarina underwater because with a glitch called ocarina items you could have used it underwater. So it showed there was no reason to hold that little item back. It's just why? On 3DS, they made it so you can use it underwater. It was a simple and easy fix. Just let the item be used. Simple enough. 
All right, let me get this junk item. I'm mainly just doing this to deposit my money. Put all the rupees in the bank. Have over 1,800 in here, which gives me a heart container with the laggiest. Oh my gosh, this lag. It's so horrible. Big yikes on that. All right, back to Great Bay Coast. We gotta go through Pinnacle Rock with two bottles. <laughs> this is gonna be a real tiresome thing. But I have to do it. How the game set me up, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. I really wish we had an extra. <laughs> you know what? I think I have one more idea. I already know Beaver Race 1 is useless. I don't think I'm gonna do Beaver Race 2 for that reason. So there's no reason to do beavers, but... I'm gonna work my way over to where the beavers are located, just so I get those two chests. Because they could be something good. One of those two could be a bottle, and if that's the case, then we're set for Pinnacle. I don't have to do multiple trips. And I really hope that is the case, because... Hi, fish. I don't want to have to do that multiple trip Pinnacle Rock thing, because, oh, it sucks, dude. It really does. The game technically expects you to only go there once, because of the seahorse, if you're using the seahorse. So, getting back, you have to memorize the path. So it's really not a good idea to do on a first playthrough for that reason. You kind of want to follow the seahorse at that point. Because that's going to be your only way of getting back and forth. Without being too confused. So, I'm going to have to just take the path twice. Which, thankfully, I know where to go. So I don't have to worry about the pathing too much. But not everyone's going to have that same kind of memorization at this point. You can barely stand up here, which is like a very <laughs> nice saving grace. Takes me a lot of time. Bomb shoes, the five pack, so you know, not bad on that front, but it's just not gonna help us. I'll see if you can scarecrow that for whatever reason. I don't know why you would scarecrow song over there when you can just, you know, hook shot. It's just hook shot tree done. But speaking of scarecrow, we're gonna get that before we go to Snowhead Temple, because there's some Hookshot points that we can use with the Scarecrow, and that's going to skip a lot of the dungeon. At this point, again, we're going to just beeline our way to these bosses, because there's no reason not to. So, that's going to be, hopefully, what I can do. Oh, not Red Ruby. I'm going to have to do this two-trip Pinnacle, which is going to be so annoying. Watch I get the third bottle there in Pinnacle, which would be really convenient, but there's no way to know. There is honestly no way to know until I do it. Because there are two chests there, and then also the seahorse rewards. So that's three different chances for this to be a bottle. A one in third chance out of having two bottles of six with all the pieces of heart here. So that uh, chance odds just get slimmer and slimmer. Needless to say, I'm not happy with these odds. But we're going to do our best. Careful here not to overshoot our pathing, because I can just do this by memory at this point. I've played this game so much that I just memorized the path here. This is essentially another Lost Woods situation, but other than like the Woods of Mystery, the path is the same all three days, so as long as you know it, you can get through here pretty comfortably. All right, now I'm gonna let go of the seahorse because I want an empty bottle. So I think I'm gonna just get the one egg down below last. Unless I maybe want to save one up here, because that would be a shorter swim. I think I'll do that. I'm just going to save an egg up here. I got to kill all these anyways for the quest, so it doesn't matter what I want. Are you serious? How did that grab me from nowhere near him? That eel had some reach. That was like behind his neck. Okay, so nothing there. This one should have a chest. And I really hope one of these chests is going to be... Okay, that's the egg. Ignore the egg. Well, I really hope one of these chests are going to be a bottle. Because, again, I don't want to have to redo this whole place twice. Like, if I have to do it, I have to do it kind of situation. That's just the way of a rando. You never know if you need to do, like, this or that until, you know, you're put in that situation. So, in this case, I don't know for sure if I have to do a two-trip here until... I'm done fully exploring Pinnacle Rock, because I could get a bottle. And if I get a bottle, that's going to really simplify things. 
going to grab this egg. Because the one near the beginning is the one I'm going to want to leave. Because it'll be the fastest one I can get. And clearing out this whole place. Hopefully for a bottle. I cannot believe I'm doing all this just for a stupid bottle. Because that's all what I'm hoping for. If I find... Okay, really? If I find a bottle in a chest, I'm immediately abandoning this plan. I'm just going to beeline the rest of this. Come on, eel. Come on out to play again. And this is one that has a chest, so I'll go grab this. No, get, get down. And open. Why won't you just stay down and open the chest? Don't flip around your flippers. Great fairy sword. I mean, that's not what I'm looking for, but, you know, it's going to help on combat, I guess. That's a good item. I just kind of want a bottle. So, <laughs> mixed feelings. The sword. Good thing I do have infinite magic, which is really hard to tell based on the color of the magic bar. Because it's still that, like, weird looking tan color. <laughs> nice coloring for my random color to pick for this. It matches my skirt. So, thankfully, because of the white glowing outline, I can definitely tell with that I have infinite magic. Bomb shoes. Okay, so it's literally just gonna be if this eel gives me a bottle. Because this is the last one I need for the little quest. And if this is not a bottle, then I gotta have to come back here a second time. <laughs> Which I'll do have one a favor on that one and just cut past all the backtracking because you don't need to see me coming back here multiple times just because I got unlucky here. I'll save people the trouble on that front. I get this was a randomized event on live stream. <laughs> this would be like, anyone got any good topics? Because this is going to be a couple minute burner. And unfortunately, it is going to be a couple minute burner because I can't do anything about it. Man, unfortunate. Unfortunate luck. Alright, let's deposit these eggs and I'll come back here. And I also have to take care of the other two eggs that we have remaining over in Pirate's Fortress too. So, not the best situation there. Combat luck. Can't really help that. So let's just go ahead at this point, deposit these eggs, and I'll head back over the pinnacle. Just get that done at this point. I could have technically also cheated this with a quip swap, but that's why I got rid of the moons tier. I didn't want to actually tempt me for that. You can use a glitch called a quip swap to put an egg like this over either your ocarina slot or also any of the items you have in the other corner of the menu. So in that case, I would use moons tier. So you could do that and have infinite number of eggs to put into this pool because you just keep on doing the same glitch over and over again. But I opted not to do that, and don't do it with the ocarina. You'll delete it, and you'll never get it back. <laughs> but I opted not to do that, just because I don't want to cheat too much. So, uh, I'm just gonna save everyone the time. I'll be right back with another egg. Moments later. Alright, so, we're back. I got my other egg from Pinnacle Rock, and thanks to that, now we can go ahead and just take care of the final thing from Pinnacle. No reason to go back there anymore. We do have to go back to Pirate's Fortress, unfortunately, though. So, instead of wasting time on that front, let's just cut back until we're in the main section of Pirate's Fortress. More moments later. Alright, so we're back into the main section here of Pirate's Fortress. So let's get that last egg we need, or the last set of eggs, because there are two here that are left for us to collect. One of them we do have to fight one of these Grudo Pirates for. So I will opt to take care of that one now. Take her out immediately with a hook shot. Might as well just make this easier. And now, let's get out that gray fairy sword because this would be great for this boss. Actually, hang on. I want to show something. That'll make this a little bit easier on me. Put that there. Hook shot this torch because reasons unknown, you can still hook shot this thing that shouldn't be hook shotable. And doing that, yeah, you get a goofy little cutscene. So at this point, now, we just want to fight you. And then we'll get access to an egg, which actually great fairy sword is a one-shot. So with that, I can just slice right through you. Very easy. Alright, well that was a simple fight. 
Let's go get this item in here along with the egg. This is the last little item we need to get here. And that's the last pirate we're going to be fighting because we don't need to fight any more pirates. Giant's Mask? Hey, that's convenient because one of the things I'm going to do is head over into Akana here soon. Just take care of that dungeon. Though I can just go straight to the boss at this point. Let me see if we can go around things here. Diet's Mass will make that fight a lot easier. Not that I need it per se, but it is nice to have. Got him. All right, the only egg we're missing is over here in this section on the east side, which this is easy enough to do. I already showed how you can just skip over there fairly easily. I say as I immediately fall off because the Goron has uncontrollable speed when he bounces. Take it a little slow here. And then just a simple little roll over. And hey, would you look at that? I'm done. They've nerfed that skip in 3DS by putting a big fence, but the fence wasn't big enough. You can still do the skip, just not with Goron anymore. <laughs> just do like a rolling jump instead. All right, one more bottle. Put on the mask. I'm just gonna kill you this point because I just don't want to bother. Open up. Thank you. And I might as well do the Ocarina items method here just to, you know, have a different thing. There you go. If you press the bottle button when the bottle's in your hand and then another item, so in this case I hit the attack button to pull out my flippers, you can do Ocarina items underwater. Which is very convenient, because that glitch allows you to play the Ocarina underwater in the vanilla game. I use that glitch all the time in Majora's Mask, because why can't you play the Ocarina underwater? Why? It was such a dumb move that I'm glad they fixed for the 3DS port. It just didn't make any sense to have that restricted. It's the one item we don't need to restrict. Zora can play it underwater. It's fine. It's just a guitar. It, it's made of bone. It's a fish. Enough said. So at this point, we got two more eggs here to dump, and then this will give us a new way bossa nova song check, which I do hope is just new way bossa nova. Because at this point, the only other songs I can think of we can check is the one in Akana Castle, and then a Pona song, which we know that's got to be junk based on how our hints said Romani Ranch is useless. So I'm really hoping, based on process of elimination, this has got to be new way bossa nova. It's that, or it's like Song of Healing, I would think. Maybe Song of Storms. I'm really hoping it's just bossa nova. Ah. There the fish. Conveniently forming music notes, even though they're just born, I can do that. Yes, it's new wave. Alright, we're in go mode. We don't need anything else to beat the seed. We're good! We can beat the entire video game! Let's go! Now at this point, we have decisions to be made. Snowhead? Great Bay? Or, we can also take care of Stone Tower. Hick. And we have some options, thankfully, because of that. So I think I'm going to opt to go to Stone Tower. Because I do believe out of all the dungeons that we had set up, that's definitely one of the ones that kind of were set up to do first based on the elemental arrows and we got mirror shield very early on too so I do think I want to go for that dungeon for that reason okay <laughs> I didn't mean to press the B button that's on me there you go that's better y y yeah I know songs thank you that will set us up for snowhead later but at this point, we're all set to do all the dungeons. There's nothing really left that we have to worry about because at this point, all we're doing is a dungeon rush. We don't need any more items because we don't need Lens of Truth to beat the game and we don't need Song of Storms either. So at this point, we're just in dungeon mode. And after that, we can go straight to Majora's Mask. So not much left of the seed, which means there shouldn't be that much left for the videos. This playthrough is coming to an end very soon, but not just yet. Still got some work to do, and we'll be doing that work in the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask Randomizer, we'll be going to our second dungeon, which is conveniently the fourth dungeon in the game, Stone Tower Temple. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.